I am incredibly excited to unbox this. This is a box from Colt Merch. Now you may have seen a few other YouTubers unbox different versions of this box. Uh, Jimmy Barnes, he unboxed a Beatles version. Uh, got tons of Beatles notebooks. In fact, he probably tripped over a Beatles notebook. And that's how he dislocated his shoulder, his arm, elbow and broke his arm because of the amount of books he got in it. But this is a Rick and Morty one. Let's dive straight into this. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heathen. I say, this is a box from a company called Cult Merch. I've seen a few other YouTubers unbox them and I'm quite impressed with what you get in them. So this was a 20 pound box. It's marked up as 50 pound reduced to 20 pound. Uh, I believe they say that they are a 50 pound box and they have a minimum of 50 pound value but I spent £20 on it. They're a relatively new company. Um, if you go to the web, there's not much details on the website. It just says, says that they have been selling on Amazon for a long time. And I believe this is like excess stock that they have left over on from the Amazon site. So they created a new company called Cult Merch and they make mystery boxes to sell off a lot of the excess stock that they have. Uh, so like I say, £20 for a Rick and Morty mystery box. Let me just crack this open. I mean, it's massive. One thing I did find interesting is it's from, it says Pyramid Shop. Now, I know Pyramid. That's probably why Rick and, uh, that's probably why Jimmy got so many notebooks, because Pyramid do a lot of notebooks and mugs. They sell a lot of stuff in HMV, they do. Uh, that being said, let me crack this open, see what I got. Okay, the box is open. <laughs> no idea how I'm going to get into this. Let me see if I can put it beside me. This box is so big. There's a lot of packaging. All I can see is packaging so far. I'm so excited. Oh, this is too much stuff. Oh. I don't know where to put the box. Just gonna reach in. There's a lot of stuff in here. This has got to be a poster. I don't know if I should open this or not, because I don't have space at the moment to put anything on my walls. It's clearly a Rick and Morty poster. I might keep this in the cellophane and save it until I have a space to put something like this up. But that's a massive poster by the looks of it. Next item. Uh, Pyramid, so it's a mug. I've seen these before. This, I say, I know the company Pyramid. They, this is like a pyramid box. It's really strange that Cold Merch is something all this stuff. I wonder if they're a sister company or if they're affiliated with Pyramid somehow. Yeah, let's see. With hot drink. Oh, so these are one of the, it's a heat changing mug. Not to keep them myself, I prefer the ones that they have the image on there the whole time. Right, so as you can see, one side here, it says Rick and Morty, and it's got Morty, and you see Rick's hand, and then it's blank, you can't see anything, and then the other side you see Rick reaching in here. When you add the hot water, there will be the portal, I believe it is. Yeah, so you when, when you add the hot water, you'll see like a portal and a few other extra effects around it that are not actually on the, on the mug itself. Quite gimmicky. Yeah, I get a lot of people like them. I'm not too keen on the hot, I hate hot. I say the heat changing mugs myself. Then we have some stickers, vinyl stickers. These are really cool. The artwork of Rick and Morty is just absolutely amazing. And take a look at these vinyl stickers. It looks so cool. There's a big one here and then a few little ones around it. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. There is, what's this? Oh, a keychain, a rubber keychain of Rick. That's cool. Um, I don't know where to put him on my keys or to put him with my Rick collection, probably with my Rick collection. So it's one of these rubberized keychains, Rick. I love that. I'm loving this box. For £20, I'm, I'm really happy with everything I've got in here and what I can see. Uh, there is a notebook. Now, I actually like notebooks. I like this one as well. I like the green on this uh, design. Uh, <laughs> I love this, actually. Look, at this is them coming out of the portal. All smiley, happy, and what you like. And then on the rear, 
is them entering the portal. <laughs> just Summer there in the corner, and then just Beth and Jerry just arguing. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I like this. And it's got all these strings you can keep it open. Uh, nice artwork. That'd be the same on each side. And then line pages. Oh, it's like yellowy green on the side, but line pages, yeah. Um, I do use notebooks a lot. I like notebooks. Uh, when I do my filming and I, I, I tend to write like the prices of the boxes, any extra details, and I have it like on the side. So I have notes if I need it. I like that item. <laughs> then there is a a mug. This is a travel mug, is it? A coffee mug? But it's Pickle Rick! Oh yeah, I'm not going to take this out of the box. We all know what travel mugs are. They've got like rubber, they've got a rubbery top on it. You put your coffee in it, it keeps it warm for a bit longer. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I'm, I like this box. I like this box. What is this? Intergalactic TV stars off interdimensional cable. Oh, this is so cool. This is a giant poster. And this is already out. It's not rolled up. Uh, two brothers. Oh, this is so good. Mr. and Mrs. Eye Holes. Oh, get your eye holes. Oh, this is so cool. Baby legs. Oh. And some eyes, Johnson. If you if you don't if you don't watch Rick and Morty, you'd be like, what are all these characters? But Intermetral Cable, I love it. This is fantastic. Amazing poster. Let me pop that there. There's two more items in this box. One is face covers. Right. Uh, I like these. I've seen these. I didn't pick these up when I saw these in the shop. Uh, this exact one. I was like, oh, wow. I want to get some Rick and Morty face covers. But I wasn't going to pay the price of these because I saw them. I think it was like Menkind and HMV. And they're selling these for like 10 to 15 pounds. So I was like, no, I just I don't want to spend that much on a face mask. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, there's two of them in here. I'm going to crack this open because I'm going to use them. I presume they're both going to be the same, or one will be a plain one and one will be the pickle one. Let's have a look. Right, grab a shadow away. They're both the same, yeah. We all know what face masks look like. <laughs> oh, I do like it. I do like it. And then the last item, I was kind of really hoping for this because they sell a lot of doormats, and I've got a Rick and Morty doormat. Let me move the box out of the way. Oop, knock everything over. Come in and get Swifty. Yeah, <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. This is going to be the doormat entering into my room here, my film, into my little recording studio, my little editing room. Um, I'm not going to be putting dirty footprints on this side. This is going to be inside the house. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Right. How do I display all this? Now? Wow. So should we do the values like we normally do with other stuff, other boxes? Well, I know they're 10 to 15 pounds. Um, let's just say ten pound because I'm sure it's about twelve pound. But we'll say we'll say ten pound. Um, do you have prices on these? No. So notebooks. What are we saying? Four ninety nine to seven ninety nine. Let's say yeah. Let's say five, let's just say five pound for the notebook. So that will bring us to fifteen pound. Stickers, vinyl stickers, one or two pound maybe. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna do the low end of everything and say one pound on that. So that brings us to sixteen pound. Keyring. They're a good three pound. They are. So that's nineteen pound. Poster. I don't know. I haven't opened this up because I don't want to. I want to keep it like this until I get a space to put it up somewhere. How much is a big? This is this is a very big poster. Looking at it, looking at how wide. I mean, times it's gone round. And the size of this. It's probably the same size. I might actually have that as a backdrop behind there instead of a Star Wars one for a change. Um. Three pound? I don't know how much posters are. I don't buy posters. So I forgot I've lost track of where I am already. 10, 15, 16, 19, 22 pound. Po the big poster at the back here. That poster there, I don't know how much that would be. Um two pound? I'm guessing with posters. You probably pay three pounds for that. I would guess two ninety nine maybe. So I mean value is pretty phenomenal here. We're looking at 22, 25 mugs, they're a tenner. I know they are, well, let's say 7.99, the cheapest you're gonna get it. Uh, 
we're looking at 30. Ooh, a mug, heat changing mug. They're not cheap. They're about 6.99. They are. We're up to like the 34 pound price, let's say. And then a doormat. They're easily a tenner. Uh, uh, easily a tenner. That's probably more than a tenner. So I think it's very, very close to the 50 pound value. I don't think it's quite there. But if you were to buy them all in an actual shop like HMV uh, or Mankind, you would bet you spend a lot more than fifty pound. That you would. I am over the moon with that. I absolutely love it. What do you think? Comment, like, share, subscribe. All normal YouTube stuff. Let me know if you enjoyed this bo unboxing. Uh, if you're not a Rick and Morty fan, you probably didn't. <laughs> but I suppose it's interesting for you to see what you get in these sort of boxes. Let me know if you'd like to see more. Uh, of these cult merch unboxings they do a lot of stuff so they have a lot of marvel boxes dc boxes star wars boxes they have a lot of different boxes go and check them out uh, i'm really impressed i'm really 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 happy with this box for 20 pound i know i would not have been able to get all this stuff for 20 pound if i went to the shop but i'm gonna hear guys i'm the geeky heathen as always much love until next time stay awesome